My name's Janet Larkin, I'm a special education teacher and I work at Woodcroft Primary School. Graduated in 1987 from McGill Teachers College and my first position was at Elizabeth Downs Junior Primary School. I thought back about a few of the teachers that I had had during my time as a child and you know different teachers had kind of inspired me and some had really put me off learning and I think more importantly the ones who put me off learning were more the reason why I wanted to teach because I thought I could do it better than them. In 99 I was diagnosed with a voice disorder. It's actually a neurological disorder so that made me have to change my career path, special ed. That really appealed to me because I'd always wanted to be able to take children aside when I was a classroom teacher because you never had that luxury in a classroom to work one-to-one or in small groups. And it was something that really appealed to me. So having a slight disability of my own, I think I can empathise with um, kids who are in positions where they have difficulties in areas. I think that helps a lot too. When I was teaching at Elizabeth one of my first contracts we went on an excursion to um it wasn't an excursion it was a camp in the hills to Arbury Park and we were on a bus and I was sitting next to a kid and he was in year two I think he was in my class and we started driving up the freeway and I always remember sitting next to him and his eyes were nearly popping out of his head he couldn't believe what he was seeing he had never seen hills before he'd never seen rocks and trees like that before I mean living out north I just guess he'd never had that experience. And he was just so, the whole camp for him was like this new world. So I just always remember him. Um, Funding is a big issue in special ed. It is just crazy, you know. We've got so many kids who need support. Yeah, Yeah, sometimes it dips very low and that's quite depressing when you know there's a lot of kids out there and there's pressure from families and teachers to get the kids. And you have to do it fairly, but you also have to make sure kids are getting three or four sessions a week because otherwise intervention doesn't really help if it's less than that. The F word. (laughs) For me personally, I'm just intrigued about how kids learn. Of course I do like children, that's a big bonus if you like children. But just able to often put yourself in their shoes too as learners. I think we're all learners and that's a pretty, you know, classic line. But you really have to understand that, you know, when whatever we deliver as a teacher you have to put yourself back in their shoes and think well how are they responding what are they hearing how are they understanding you because particularly in special ed you have to be quite creative and have a quite an in-depth knowledge once you're in special ed about how children learn and where gaps can be and how to try and accommodate those gaps and not always fix them I don't think you fix kids but you just keep helping them